Hey everyone, it's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back with another episode of Lock Talk. Before I jump into the questions, I just want to say thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for your support and your well wishes and all of your wisdom and great advice for my video where I discuss why I had been wanting to cut off my locks and how I feel like I'm entering into a new spiritual journey. I really appreciate all of your support. It's not easy to you know be so transparent here on YouTube especially you know with everyone being extra judgmental these days but um thank you thank you and I will make more updates on my spiritual journey as I feel inspired to do so. So the first question is from Alexander Tingle. How did your hair get so long so fast? Um, well, I'll just say this. I started my locks with 10 months of natural hair. So I had just under a year of natural hair to work with. My afro like, when like combs out it was like this big. So I thought that I had like a good enough amount of length to have, you know, cute maybe chin length locks but no that's not the case at all when I got my comb coils installed my locks were like this long and I looked like a little boy at least that's how I felt because I had always been the, the type of person to like depend on my long hair for my femininity and my beauty and things like that surprisingly when I you know looked in the mirror and saw my hair was this short I was like this is the first step in my journey I guess this is how it's gonna be I was really surprised that I took that perspective but it's all growth I'm growing I guess I try to be very you know on point with my hair maintenance you know I stay away from petroleum I believe that those sort of thick gucky products will clog your follicles and really reduce and limit your growth potential so I make sure to moisturize with water primarily and I use lightweight oils to seal in the moisture into my hair and my scalp light oils I, prefer, I like almond oil I like coconut oil really you know have light light oils I only use heavy oils like Jamaican black castor oil when I feel like my hair is incredibly dry and thirsty and maybe if I'm trying to you know you know concentrate on my edges that's the only time I will use a really heavier oil like Jamaican black castor oil but yeah I, I'm pretty simple with my lock maintenance routine as as you know as far as products if I ever use any other products it's here and there and like maybe if I'm trying to do curls I want to use a setting lotion maybe or if I'm I don't know doing a, a style like maybe my my faux pixie cut hairstyle maybe I would use um some lotion to help you know my locks feel more malleable is that the word I'm looking for and this yeah but for the most part I guess that the reason why my hair is so long at this stage in my lock journey is because I you know I let it do what it do I leave it alone I really do I leave it alone as you can see right now it's in a lock sock and it's been like this for maybe um going on two days and I just leave it alone I leave it alone and genetics I guess so the next question comes from Taylor. That's the red I'm trying to get, so nice. I used Pravana after looking at Evelyn from the internet's purple dye video. I ordered the same color and it kept bleeding and running off on my clothes, something fierce. Couldn't wear white for a while, shaking my head. I'm not sure if I'm putting too much dye on my locks. How are you applying it? Are you simply coating it or squeezing it in so it will hold better? And yes, currently, I have a rinse in my hair. Um, I, I'm guessing it's still there. I'm not really sure. You know, I use a lot of dyes. I've used a lot of dyes in my journey. Dyes and rinses. And I feel like all of those, a combination of all of those dyes and rinses is, you know, the reason why my hair is the color that it is currently. So when people ask me, oh, what dye do you use? How do you get that color? I don't really have a really straightforward answer for you just I just really like to refer you to my lock journey video and my more recent videos where I talk about the dyes that I've used since making that video because it's really a combination of everything okay I know that rinses can be a pain yes they often bleed and from my experience Pramana bled the least but um Taylor you said that you experienced a lot of bleeding using Pravana definitely check out my playlist on dyeing your locks um, to see different techniques and things that I've done in my journey to get the results that I've gotten but for the most part so you know answer your question no 
I try my best not to squeeze my locks into my to squeeze the dye into my locks because that can be a, a pain to wash out but not only that but maybe you stop washing it assuming that you finish washing it out but you're really leaving dye into your locks and you don't want to do that because dyes this these are not natural for the most part these are chemicals you are leaving in your hair which may very well cause a lot of drying in your hair and cause a lot of breakage even if it's not immediate down the line I prefer to just coat my locks with with the dye and um, if I squeeze I'm squeezing minimally but um, so that it doesn't get into the core of the lock I would suggest that you get an extra box so that your the surface of your locks are completely saturated however I would try my best to not squeeze it in that could be one of the reasons why you're experiencing so much bleeding because you may actually have that dye still in your locks and that and it's you know rubbing against the surfaces of your clothes and your pillowcases and those sort of things so yeah try not to squeeze the dye into your locks try to just coat it as well as you can get an extra box for good luck if you have any questions make sure to leave them below maybe they'll be featured in another lock talk video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already thumbs it up and share thanks for watching